So let's jump in. First one, it's a biggie, MLB expansion. So we're at 30 teams right now. It's the year 2022. My estimation, logically, it's going to go to 32 teams. It only makes sense. We're going to have 16 and 16 between the AL and NL. Uh, some nice stats I put together here just, you know, just to uh, marinate on. So think about this. The expansion fee, when it's going to happen, it's not, in my estimation, it's not if you can disagree with me, that's fine. This is all good debate and good fun. But I think it's going to happen. They're looking at at least $2.2 billion per team when they bring them in. In, in retrospect, back in 93, Colorado and Miami paid $95 million each. Arizona and Tampa Bay paid $130 million each in 1998. So don't give me inflation. This is bonkers beyond inflation. So if we go with the $2.2 billion numbers, each of the 30 teams are going to be getting before taxes $70 million. Think about that. So number one, my friend, Xavier, MLB expansion. Do you agree? Do you think it's going to happen? And when do you see it happening, first of all? Yeah, I think it's going to happen. Um, I think you look at the game and how much it's growing and um, the, abil the ability to continue to make money within the game, to, the ability to continue to market the game. There's a lot of cities um, that really teams would do quite well in if you look at their fan bases. Um, so I'm hoping that is the case. And I think that is the case. Um, I'm hoping it's sometime by 2025, uh, because I think the, the sooner, the better. I think there's um, definitely teams that are at least cities that really deserve a team as soon as possible. And I, I hope that that's the case. You and I are on the same page, my friend. I figured as much because also, you know, I, I'm not a, I'm not a fan. If possible, I don't like relocation. If we can avoid it, you know, in those cities, and I've been to those cities, those fans are diehards. You know, they love their, their, they love their team. They love their players. They don't want to lose their players. It's not their fault that the economics get in the way. And, you know, you're always talking about the same thing. Stadiums, you know, tax money, who's going to pay for it. And the game gets lost in the whole economic shuffle. So let's, let's take relocation off the window. So let's pretend there'll be no relocation. If right now... We can talk about which cities, you know, we think are the ones that are going to be eligible. But if right now you're going to say these two cities are the ones that are going to be awarded MLB franchises, who are you going with and why? Yeah, one of them is going to be Nashville. Um, I look at Nashville and that being one of the cities that um, continues to be booming. It's already a city that they've tried to put together. I think I want to say like a committee um, to uh, acquire a team or try to uh, at least get the money towards being able to have a team. Um, so I look at that being a, a great area for, for a, a team. Um, another area I look at being uh, Montreal. This was another team uh, in another area in which they had a team. We know the Expos. Yes. Um, and, and I think uh, this fan base definitely deserves a team. We know how well baseball does in Canada in general. So I think that that would be another great spot. Also, um, uh, Vegas. I think that that is a team that you look at um, the sports world there and how well the, the goal, uh, I want to say the Golden Knights have done with the hockey team there. Um, the Raiders, Raiders have done now with the football team there. I would love to see a baseball team there as well. Well, I'm doing my math, buddy, and you are at three. So you're the committee. <laughs> you got your, we got your top three now. Which two are getting it? Uh, Vegas and Nashville. Vegas and Nashville are the teams I would like to see, or the cities I would like to see. Love it. Okay. Uh, so we are in agreement on Vegas and I'm not going to say whether I love Vegas, don't love Vegas. I do love the city, obviously, you know, as far as just everything about it and uh, not, not, I'm not, I'm not a party lifestyle type guy to go into the nightclubs, but you know, I love, you know, you, you even just, you know, you, you start walking through the tunnels and you see how many memorabilia shops and how many sports, of course, when I'm there, I, I, who's there? P. Rose signing autographs. Of course, you know, like it never fails. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's probably there every Wednesday. So there's P. Rose signing off his autograph. I'm like, hey, Pete, how you doing? You know, um, but, you know, you could talk about tourists and you could talk about, uh, you know, residents and can they sustain 81 games? No, nobody has any doubts that in they, this is reality. In reality, gambling and money and sports, they're showing it's there. Base baseball is no different. Baseball is jumping all over that. So I agree with a thousand percent. So Vegas is going to happen. Yeah. We said on many, many levels, and it just makes so much sense. And that's just the reality. It's not a question of if it's a question of when they're going to get their team. Now I hear you in Montreal and keep in mind, I, you know, I I'm Canadian here. So I, so I'm in Canada here. We're, we're celebrating family day. You're celebrating president's day. So mm -hmm. 
I have walked by the big O and it is called the big O for a reason. It was an utter disaster. I've seen it from the outside. It looks so cruddy and bad. Me as a baseball fan, I never watched the baseball game from Olympic Stadium. Mm. Uh, I just, I, it wasn't real baseball for me and I just could not bear myself to go in there for the amount of times I've gone to Montreal. And I love the city with a passion and I can see it, but it's not going to happen. And, mm. and I'm saying this is a Canadian. Why I don't think it's going to happen. Number one, the dollar doesn't make any sense. Number two, travel and restrictions. Players not wanting to live in Canada and taxes and everything else. It's because of the economic side of it and the frustrations of how things went. It, I think it's just so much easier to just sit, put it in, in an American city and say, you know, Montreal, you're on the short list, but you're one day soon. Right. I would love to see it. I, I would say for the love of the game, if they take everything aside, they find a strong owner, build them the right stadium. I would love to see it, but I don't think in our lifetimes, we're going to see another uh, team in Canada at the way we lost the Grizzlies in basketball, you know, again, circumstances, but I, I don't feel it, even though I want it. I, I see two other things. And I went back. It's funny. I wrote an article about this back a decade ago, and I don't think my opinions change on it. Mexico mm. City would be freaking cool. I would love to see a team out there because, you know, let's make, make this all North America. You know, we had it. We brought it to right. Canada. Let's bring it to Mexico City. How many players would love to hang out in Mexico City oh, and man. reside there, right? That would be amazing. I got the chance to play in Mexico. So, right. Um, in, getting in, to visit in winter ball. Yeah. To getting, to getting a chance to visit that that city is amazing. Um, I, I think that that would be an amazing place to play. Uh, it would be an amazing fan base. They love baseball over there. Uh, and another thing, the travel wouldn't be too much of a problem. I don't think it would be, you know, any worse than a team in, in Canada. So I think that that would be an amazing spot. So if I'm going with my two, and 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 that that's my kind of like homerish kind of like you know mm -hmm. you know uh dream state it'd be mexico city i would love to see brooklyn get back a team but it ain't gonna happen obviously with the yankees and mets with territorial rights but how mm -hmm. cool it'd be if you brought back baseball to brooklyn i think new york could easily sustain three teams i can tell you i've been to mets games i've been to yankees games i've been to one yankee game my whole life it was a red sox game this was back in 2019 Wow. And I've never, I've been to many stadiums. I've been to many games. It's nothing like the experience of the second you're lining up outside that stadium, the time that you go into the stadium, this, the eat, breathe, sleep baseball, New York could sustain five baseball teams theoretically. So I would love to see Brooklyn, but again, with territorial and everything, it's not going to happen. Uh, other, other cities, Portland, I think would be a safe bet. Perhaps. Yes. Yes. yes definitely. I would like to see Portland too. I think, I think that they have a very loyal fan base. I think that they're real knowledgeable sports fans. And I think uh, baseball would be really benefiting from being out there. Uh, San Antonio, another Texas team could see that mm -hmm. potentially happening again, because of the fan base and the, and the dollars. I mean, the money's in Texas, it's flowing like oil, right? Right. <laughs> until until yeah, they go good. electric. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And San Antonio is a, a really nice spot. Um, I, I could see. The, and like you said, it's, it's almost Texas, like one of those New York style uh, areas where you can have three teams there and still get the fan bases. People love sports there, love eat, sleep, breathe uh, baseball. I think that's one of uh, an excellent spot. I know that's been kind of tossed around as well, San Antonio. And last one, I last two I had was Memphis and New Orleans. Mm, yeah, two places I got to play in my my minor league careers. Um, definitely, we were close because you were Nashville. Places. You had Nashville. I had Memphis. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely Memphis would be a great place. I, New Orleans would be interesting for me because I, I'm not sure if, if with them having the basketball team and the, the football team there, I, I know they do a good job with those, but baseball, even the minor league so side, I didn't see much interest there, it, even though it is kind of a bigger city with a lot of people coming to visit. Um, I, I just don't know if I feel the ba the baseball um uh, crowd is there i remember back when the giants didn't get their new stadium yet and baseball was so hot in toronto because we just opened up the sky dome it was called at the time before it was called the rogers center and they said you know what if we don't get our stadium in san francisco we're going to move to toronto because it's funny because they the, this is the story goes that the giants were going to move to toronto back many years ago and now they were, they were threatening again and they said they're going to put two teams in toronto and they were going to put them in what was called Exhibition Stadium, the stadium before the Sky Dome. 
And I just laughed and laughed and said, there's no chance they're going to put two baseball teams out here, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and we've had our struggles. Look, since, uh, since we won our world series uh, championships and then, and then the, uh, the strike of 94, uh, it took a long time for us to recover until the joy bats uh, bat flip, you know, mm. it was hard in this city, you know, and uh, you can have a great fan base. You can have uh, a great uh, population base and economics, but you don't deliver a winning product. You know, people this day and age have so much things that they can spend their dollar on that sports right. could be the first thing to suffer. So you have to consistently deliver. Otherwise they may not be interested. So that's where, you know, when I look at this list and I think to myself, yes, MLB expansion is going to happen. And, you know, it's excitement of the initial, you know, draw when it's a new team. And very often they usually suck for the first while, except you're the Las Vegas Golden Knights, you know, go to right. the Stanley Cup finals. But uh, <laughs> that's rare and few between. And then when the novelty wears off, you know, between years, as early as year two to year five, will it continue? So from my right. end, you know, I think we both agree Vegas. We have our safe picks, which for me would be uh, Portland. Yours would be Nashville. And I'm still going to Mexico City because I just I think that they want to break out of the realm. And for you to be in Montreal. Yeah, definitely. I, I love that. I, I love the Mexico City. I totally forgot about that, too. That would, that's, that would be an amazing spot. I, I remember being out in Mexico enough. And it just it's such a great vibe out there. And I said to myself, wow, if I was a player, I'd be all over this. This would be the greatest thing, you know, living out here. Just be a lot of fun. Uh, but we'll see either way, they're going to get their money, uh, with certainty and the dollars are there. It, it literally blows my mind. You know, I remember, you know, when there was the first $1 million baseball player and then the $3 million baseball player and how much teams were worth and things have just got thrown out the window. It's unbelievable how much these franchises are worth and where the dollars are at. So, uh, let's see where it goes. <laughs> it's a good sign though. It's a good sign for the game. Thank you for enjoying today's episode of the chosen life podcast. Go ahead and hit the subscription button below and the notification bell to catch all of our great shows. And remember to contact the chosen lawyers when you are ready for your next real estate and commercial transaction, go to Cormans.ca.